So ngayon, dahil nalalapit na talaga ang Kapaskuhan, mag-bake tayo ulit. Marami sa inyo ang nag-request na chef, gumawa naman tayo ng medyo healthier version. Siyempre, para nga naman ang ating mga mahal na mga seniors or yung mga healthy eaters ay makapag-indulge din during dessert time. So this is healthy carrot cake. Napakabilis gawin. So first, you need corn oil or canola oil or vegetable oil. Kahit anong klaseng oil na gusto mo, basta hindi dapat natutulog para the cake will remain soft, tender, and moist kahit na ilagay mo sa refrigerator. So into the bowl, magugulat kayo kung gaano kabilis gawin to. Three pieces of whole eggs. Hindi ko po makita yung recipe. Ba't po hindi mo nilagay yung recipe? Paano ko po yan gagawin? Nandyan po yan. May mga bagay na akala mo lang wala, pero totoong nandyan. Nagpapahanap lang. You just have to click see more under the video and lalabas na ang mahiwagang recipe. Nandyan po talaga yan. Promise. Carrots, grated carrots. I grate my carrots using cheese grater, yung pinong cheese grater, because I want texture. Pag kasi gumamit ka ng food processor, yung blade ang ginamit mo, madudurog yung carrots, so magiging parang mushy. No? So you want some texture. So pinapagayat ko talaga yan manually, or you can use the grater attachment in the food processor if you want. Brown sugar. Eh, paano po yan, chef? Diabetic po yung mother ko. Diabetic po yung customer ko. You can use coconut sugar. Yung coconut sugar daw, kasi according to the label, ha, nagbasa lang po ako ng label, hindi daw tumataas ang glycemic index nung kumakain. So, kung diabetic ka, medyo safer if you use the coconut sugar. Eh, talagang gusto ko po sugar-free. You can use yung mga nabibiling sugar substitute such as the Splenda Granulated or kung ano mang sugar substitute yung sa tingin mo ay talagang pwede para sa'yo. Pwede mong gamitin yon. Sometimes I also use Muscovado Sugar. Pwede rin. Pwede po bang Splenda? Hindi eh. Kasi yung Splenda, yung Splenda ang naka, ano, nakasashay or yung Steve yung nakasashay kasi masyado po silang concentrated. So remember, ang asukal po, hindi lang po yan pampatamis ng baked goods. It also adds to the moisture of whatever you are baking. So kapag concentrated yung nilagay mo, magiging dry yung iyong cake. Remember that. This is non-fat milk. And then I'm also putting baking soda baking powder and salt. I think salt yung una ko na ilagay o oh, nalito na ako. Basta yan ay baking soda, baking powder, salt and cinnamon powder. So lahat ng wet ingredients kasama na yung iyong crushed pineapples. Hindi po ako mahilig sa pineapples. Ayaw ko pong maglagay niyan. Ano po ang pwede kong ilagay? Pwedeng maglagay ka ng mashed bananas or pwedeng palitan mo din ng carrots. Eh, paano po yan? After watching your video, na-realize ko na hindi pala ako mahilig sa carrots. Good question. You can use zucchini. Ang social naman po pakinggan yung gulay na yan. Wala po ata yan dun sa supermarket sa amin. You can use broccoli. Actually, I've tried using broccoli for this recipe and it works really well. At napakasarap din. So, pwede kang gumamit ng carrots, pwede ang zucchini, pwede din ang broccoli. So, you mix all of your wet ingredients. Kung magtataka ka, bakit nilagay ko dito yung baking powder and baking soda to make sure na talagang kalat na kalat sila and you will not get lumps. ba diba minsan, kumakain ka na ng cake pagkagat mo, may mapakla, may buo pa palang baking soda. So, mixing it, with your wet ingredients, we'll make sure na talagang nadurog sila at na-dissolve. O, oh, ba? So, yan. And then, you just put your flour, all-purpose flour, and your walnuts. 
Gusto ko po maglagay ng almonds, go! Gusto ko po maglagay ng raisins, go! Gusto ko po maglagay ng cranberries, go! Kung saan ka masaya. No? Lagyan mo. Gusto ko po talaga super healthy. Can I put chia seeds, flax seeds? Go! You can put. You can start with one tablespoon, two tablespoon. Pwedeng pwede. Just mix it. See? This is just plain. Alam nyo po, karamihan sa mga recipes ko, ito ha, kung mapapansin nyo, dahil may mga nakapansin, napakasimple nila, basic. Because, of course, I'm just giving you the foundation. Tinuturo ko sa inyo yung foundation and I'm very, very sure napaka-creative ninyo. Baka ang iba sa inyo talagang mas malawak pang pa imagination kaysa sa akin. So, mas mapapaganda nyo yan. Mas mapapasarap nyo. And I'm sure, magiging best seller nyo yan. Wala naman po akong balak magtinda. Best seller sa pamilya mo. O, ba? Diba? You just mix it hanggang mawala yung harina. Katulad ng palagi kong tinuturo sa inyo, do not overmix, otherwise titigas yung iyong cake. So once it's smooth like this, pwede na natin ilagayan sa baking pan. Andali, no? Konti pa ang huhugasan mo. I'm using a bun pan. This is a 10-inch bun pan. Pwede po bang square pan? Pwede po bang loaf pan? Yes. Kahit anong size ng baking pan, kahit anong shape ng baking pan ang meron ka, ang gusto mong gamitin, pwede. As long as you fill the pan, pakita ko sa inyo, ibuhos mo yung butter, binrasyan ko lang po yung pan ng vegetable oil shortening. Pwede din ang butter. Pwede din yung non-stick baking spray. So, ibuhos mo sa baking pan mo, kailangan huwag kang lalagpas sa 3 4 Kasi aalsa pa yung cake. And you want to give the cake enough space to breathe. O di ba? may nakaka-relate. Kailangan there's enough space so it could breathe comfortably inside the oven. So katulad nito, nakita mo, 10-inch bunt pan. Kung ibebake ko siya in a pan, let's say in a cupcake pan, ibebake mo siya, gagawin mong carrot muffins, Huwag mong pupunuin. 3 fourth lang. Kasi aalsa yan eh. So that is the basic guide. Just in case you want to use other sizes and shapes of pan. No? So, papunta na ako sa aking oven. I'm going to bake it in my mini electric oven. 350 degrees Fahrenheit for approximately, itaiset natin yung timer, 45 minutes at 3.50. This is Celsius, kaya hanggang 2.30 lang po yan. Ang Celsius, kapag 350 Fahrenheit, nasa mga 170 yan. So, tinapat ko siya dito sa 170. So, ibebay ko siya dito. Pag tumunog yung aking timer, hahanguin ko na and palalamigin ko sa cooling rack. Yan ang sunod nating aabangan maya-maya. So, welcome back. After 40 minutes in the oven, ayan na ang ating carrot cake. O, di ba? Nicely brown. And then, I'm going to make, of course, the cream cheese frosting. Some people might say, hindi naman healthy ang cream cheese frosting kasi puro sugar and fats. Well, optional lang naman ito. And I'm sure, pag napanood nyo, gagawa kayo. So, this is just cream cheese, butter, and powdered sugar. Just beat them all together. Everything room temperature, ha? Lahat po ng ginamit nating ingredients for the cake, for the icing. Lahat po yan, room temperature. So, just beat them all together. Look. Stable po ba yan? Yes. Very stable. And not very sweet. So, basically, healthy pa din siya because we're using all natural ingredients. That's it. Huwag mo nga haluin ang matagal ang cream cheese frosting mo. Look, 
very stable. Kasi pag hinalo mo ng matagal yan, magkakaroon ng friction. Which means, umiingit yung mixer. So, instead of creating a stable icing, tinutunaw mo dahil umiinit yung blade ng mixer. So, okay na to. I have here yung nilagay ko na kanina sa piping bag. Nilagay ko siya sa piping bag and the cake, of course, like what I always teach you, you have to let it cool down on a cooling rack para nagsi-circulate yung cool air. And I have here a nice wooden platter. Ibabalik tad ko lang, no? Okay. Katok-katokin mo, di ba? Para pagbuksan ka. Oops! Ah, that's it. Look how nice. Di ba? And ganito lang kasimple yan. You just put rosettes. Ah, di ba? Pagka may sumobra, pwedeng on the side. Because some people, they don't like too much icing on their carrot cake. This is a simple, simple carrot cake na pwedeng-pwede mo, of course, pabonggahin using your own creativity. And then, you just put walnuts. Eh, talaga pong gusto ko magpa-impress doon sa aking kapitbahay, sa aking customer. Paano ko po ba gagawin yun? Hindi, lagyan mo ng cherries, lagyan mo ng kung ano-anong decoration sa ibabaw. But of course, simple is elegant. Makikita mo, di ba? Very simple, but it's very elegant. And of course, hindi siya ganong nakakaumay. Less guilt because we've used all natural ingredients. And of course, this is a vegetable-based cake. So you can see also what's on the inside. I'm going to cut. So let's say, ayan, may bisita kang dadating, di ba? Pero humiwa ka na. O, oh, di pagdikitin mo ulit na gano'n. <laughs> di ba? Pagdikitin mo ulit na gano'n. And then, yung titikman mo is here. Here's yours. Oh, look. I want you to see how moist the inside of the cake. And if you rest it inside the fridge overnight, the flavor and the texture will improve. Yan ang isa sa mga secrets ng carrot cake. Even banana cake. Pag pinahinga mo siya overnight, parang tayo lang, mas fresh and mas improved the, the following day. Let's try it. Mm. It's very moist and it's very delicious. So I'm looking forward to see your carrot cake creations on Facebook and Instagram. Stay safe and See you soon. Enjoy!